Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for February 24th, 2024. Welcome to Shedding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. <clears throat> Just keep in mind, Scorpio, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's get right to it. Some of you um, may be starting a new relationship with someone or in some kind of new connection here. All right, others of you are planning, planning something. Maybe you are planning to be in a relationship or just planning for your future or something like this, okay? Something about planning is significant here. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards I need to see for Scorpio today, please. Okay. Show me that Scorpio energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio today. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Boom. <clears throat> in the past, we have the King of Wands. Okay, clarify King of Wands for Scorpio in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three. Each other again. One, two, three, four. Okay. Why Knight of Pentacles reversed? Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four cups reversed. Okay, some of you are having some kind of success, or someone in your energy here, someone. Okay, it's having some kind of success after a struggle, okay, some kind of ordeal that was hard or struggling, okay. Um, you have two people in your energy. One might be you with the King of Wands, okay. So you might be taking action on something or someone might be ta taking action on something here. All right, um, <clears throat> this is kind of unclear. You have the Seven of Cups in the reversal, which is like, you know, they have like fight or flight and then they have freeze. Okay, this is kind of like freeze. All right, you might be, there's like a decision that you have to make about something here and you might be, or you might have been like kind of pushed into a decision against, against one's will. Okay, against your will here. Okay. Um, something to do with breaking out of your shell Okay. Maybe it's with another person. Okay. It has to do with like a, a love situation maybe, or a, I don't know, maybe a work situation, something to do with money, somebody, somebody with money or has money or something, but they're like not a, but they're pretty materialistic or something like that. Complete lack of self-control, weakness, and ability to stand up for oneself. Foolishness with money and resources. Maybe they have money, but they also spend money really easily. Let me see that summon I coach. Really indecision or worse being paralyzed by the inability to choose it can also indicate a lack of focus or not knowing what one wants and occasionally it will indicate being forced into a decision against one's will clarify this past situation for scorpio please holy spirit holy angels okay so so far we have someone standing in their power okay someone is in a complete lack of self-control or foolish with money or, or resources we have the sun, which is like success after struggle. And then we have the seven of cups reversed, which is indecision or worse being paralyzed. This is like up, down, up, down, up. All right. 
I don't know what's going on here. Clarify this past situation for Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify. What do we got going on here? What is this talking about? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three. Eight of Cups. Could have been walking away from something here. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Someone could have been walking away from you, or are you walking away from someone, or are you walking away from something for success, okay, in order to gain some kind of success? One, two, three, four, let me get one more four. One, two, three, four, okay. The judgment and the magician came out. They would have landed in the reversal, but they ended up landing in the sideways position, so that means they can go either way. Some of you might be stuck in a cycle with someone or something. Maybe you're stuck in a cycle in general, okay? And this is a this is something that you're supposed to realize and be able to acknowledge, okay? So that way you can work through whatever this is. Why is judgment and magician together? Why judgment and magician? You're supposed to realize this so that way you can work through getting out of this cycle, okay? wands in the reversal okay what's that song is like no fight <laughs> no fight <laughs> some of y'all might like me beyonce okay i don't know i can't even remember how it goes but i know it's like at the end of the song they're like no fight no fight i don't even know if it is beyonce I can't remember this. All I can remember is what it is, oh, what's up? And that's like a completely different song. Well, they're a completely different artist, so I got no idea. Somebody doesn't want to fight or argue with you, but someone sees you walking away here, okay? Um, I feel like just restarting <laughs> this, this whole reading. Spirit, what is going on in the past here? What is going on? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, clarify. What is going on in the past here? Because this is crazy. One, two, three, four. Ten of Pentacles. So you're walking away from someone that you... This could be a love situation or a love dynamic here. Okay, you could be walking away from someone or someone could be walking away from you that maybe wanted to have a long-term connection with you. Okay, right now you feel like you have no choice as far as dealing with this okay but this is because there are some obstacles that are being placed in your path by spirit after you have started a spiritual journey okay and this is meant to push you to being in your power somebody doesn't want to fight or argue with you or vice versa but they feel like this is probably the best the best for the situation here because of being stuck in a cycle okay that you need to work your way out of okay what the flip clarify one more so this is ha it happened a lot faster than you were expecting it to or it happened really fast some of you might be traveling or moving okay this is a lot of all over the place energy somebody is just wow <laughs> going through a lot okay this is going to resonate for everyone differently scorpio okay so take it as it resonates it doesn't specifically have to be a love connection or a love situation, but I am getting that with the Ten of Pentacles. It probably is, okay? Um, so we have a little bit of choppy energy here, okay? So it's not going to resonate with everyone the same. It could be like a family situation or maybe a friend dynamic or something. Maybe work for some of you with that Pentacles, maybe, okay? In the present, we have the Nine of Swords and the Reversal, okay? So somebody, if you were feeling stuck in your head, Scorpio, you're not anymore, okay? No more. Emotional release, letting go of old pain and moving on. A release of tension that you can physically feel. You have endured great stresses and now the causes of those are being lifted. It's time to forget the past and create new, better memories. Okay, clarify the present situation for Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see.
clarify this present situation. Clarify this present situation for Scorpio, please. Okay. Okay. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So you might have some kind of financial opportunity or um, financial gain coming in that's going to allow you to be happy, okay? We also have Nine Nine right here, okay? And then we have seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, you're being seen as unstoppable right now, or you might be feeling unstoppable based on the situation, like a financial gain or some kind of like payout coming in towards you, maybe a new job or a promotion for some of you. Okay. Nine of cups is um, emotional fulfillment, being happy with what you have going on, like quitting the game on top, you win, okay? Being very happy, all right? That might be why you're having this emotional release, or maybe if you are feeling very mo emotional about someone or something here, Scorpio, this is going to, like if, if you let go of this, this is what will happen if you do. Spirit is guiding you to let go of this so that way something better can happen for you, okay? Clarify this present situation for Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ace of Cups in the reversal. Three of Cups. Six of Swords in the reversal. So someone might be having a hard time um, moving on from something. They might be feeling stuck because of um, like emotion, like emotional unfulfillment or emotion that is, let me see something here. emotion like that is stuck or trapped or like emotional unfulfillment here it's like you have reason to celebrate here or someone has reason to celebrate but they're having a hard time moving on from a situation that was emotionally unfulfilling for them or became emotionally unfulfilling okay so it's kind of hard to celebrate here some of you might be dealing with a pregnancy all right a very very small amount of you okay like maybe 5% might be dealing with a pregnancy. Okay, clarify this present situation, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Seven of Cups. You're exploring your options and figure out, figuring out what you can do. Figuring out what you can do. Sometimes I can like hear my accent and it drives me insane. Figuring out what you can do. God dang, it drives me insane. Okay. <laughs> I just want to talk normal without any accent at all. That'd be amazing. Okay. So you're figuring out what options that you have. You're trying to figure out what is the best route or path for you to take here, Scorpio. That's why you're feeling a little stuck right now. Um, but there is emotions involved in this. Okay. And they are, some of it might be repressed. There's something that you're keeping in or keeping to yourself that you're not allowing other people to see here. Okay. Or not wanting other people to see. All right, and you might have plenty of reason to be happy here, okay? And you're still moving forward either way, but at the same time, you're trying to figure out what is the best path for you to take here because you have different options, you have different ways to go. And, um, you know, you won't always have these options, so it's important to keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Because Seven of Cups, it says, strike, strike while the iron, iron is still hot, okay? Take a deep breath, do some quick re do some quick research, decide what you want most from life right now and strike while the iron is still hot. If you wait too long, the moment will pass and the opportunity may be gone. Choose, but choose wisely. So it's like you won't always have all the options that you have right now whenever it comes to something here, Scorpio. So you are being guided to choose sooner rather than later, okay? Uh, before the options disappear or something, but there is something here that you have to choose. There is some kind of options. There are different life paths that you can take. Okay. And, um, might be making you feel a little stuck right now. Okay. Or a little, something about repressed emotion here as well. Okay. Clarify. Let me get one more card to clarify. 
strength in the reversal. You might be feeling dominated by someone or something like uh, alcohol or, you know, drugs or something. Um, <laughs> probably, or someone in your energy might be feeling this way. Um, or you might just feel like weak in the moment. It says weakness, doubt, impatience, pettiness, impotence, and repression. Again, with that repression card, there's something here emotionally that you're having a lot of uh, dealings with that you are not uh, facing or not or not uh, taking on. Okay. This is like the shove it down method. Okay. And this is like just just shove it down. Okay. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> I know from personal experience it does not work. Okay. It always comes back out at some point or another. It's better to face it head on if this is you. If it's not you, Scorpio, it might be someone that you're dealing with, okay? In the future, we have the death card, okay? Scorpio energy, death represents change. Also, don't mind my hair right now. I took a 10-minute cold shower, felt amazing, and then I was really cold afterwards, so I got under the covers, fell asleep, and my hair was all wet, so I woke up, and it's like, boom. Anyways, some kind of change coming into your energy, okay? Or some kind of change needs to happen, but it looks like it is happening, whatever it is, okay? It could be changes that you are making, okay? Clarify this death card for Scorpio in the future, please. Well, snap. So, something about Page of Wands. Uh, new action or taking action on something. Again, some of you might either have children or might be debating on having children or something like that. Or something about a, I don't know. Let me get two more cards to clarify. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three of Swords in the Reversal. Healing. And then King of Cups. And so it does look like you take a, a dive into these emotions here. Okay. For some of you. Or someone in your energy does. Okay. Three of Swords in the Reversal. And it causes you to heal and be able to stand in your power a little bit better emotionally. Some of you might be artistically gifted as well. Okay. Clarify this future situation for Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify. Let me get one more. Just in case, I just want to note this really quick. All right, don't, for whoever's watching this, okay, I would not recommend having a kid in order to heal something here for yourself. I wouldn't recommend that because that, that doesn't ever work, okay? I don't think that's you, Scorpio, but I feel like someone might be like, yeah, let's do this. But the reason that they're doing it is trying to heal something from the past. I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't work that way, okay? It's better to face your emotions or emotional dealings. This is, in my opinion, it could be you doing it in like a childlike manner. Like, oh, this is new. How do I work through this? You know, like a new obstacle. Yay. I would recommend if that is the case, if you're choosing, you know, do the random like obstacle new action finding a new way to deal with something here find a new way to heal okay some of you might be doing that or could do that through being artistically gifted maybe even if you're not artistically gifted maybe paint or sing or write music or draw or what else you know what else do people do create something new okay this could be a way to work through the emotions that you have without like having to directly do it you're still doing it it's just indirectly and it still gets you the same result okay so that's what i would recommend here don't have a kid in order to work through the emotions that kid will suffer for it later okay i'm not saying that's you scorpio but someone might be trying to tempt you or something i don't know clarify this future situation for scorpio please holy spirit holy angels let me get one more four one two three four okay Seven of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Wands, Page of Swords, the Lovers reversed. So some of you are healing from a, a love situation that did not work out, okay? Um, you might be doing something new that you want to do or taking action moving forward in some kind of way. Again, like we are getting the recurring energy of just moving forward, okay? With the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, 
The thing is here, Scorpio, is there's something from the past, okay? You have the two knights out here, okay? You also have the knight of pentacles, but you have it in the reversal in the past. You have the two knights that are both looking towards the past, okay? So you are moving forward and you are like charging ahead, not letting anything really stop you or hold you back here. But it's like you're also like, if it's not you, it's a person in your energy, okay? I like to read as authentically as possible. So just in case if it is you, Scorpio, I'm putting that out there, okay? If it's not you, it's the other person looking at you, okay? They're moving forward and they're like still keeping an eye over their shoulder to see what you got going on. But just in case if it's you, all right, it's someone here is having a hard time moving forward completely over a situation that did not work out because they, even the Page of Swords here, like the Page of Swords is looking towards the past and planning for the future, okay? So, and the, you know, it also can mean um, someone trying to get dirt on you or see what you have going on so that, I don't know, somebody might be trying to feel better about themselves if you're doing bad or doing doing worse or than them or whatever, I don't know. Seven of Pentacles in the reversal. This can mean a couple of different things. In the book here, it represents um, there's something that you're going to be upset if you let it die off or something like that. How's it go? One second, I haven't read it in like a little while. This card indicates that you are missing the point. You have something worthwhile, something you will miss dearly if you let it die off or walk away from. Before you neglect what you have into obscurity, you should take some time and think very seriously and carefully about your next move. Okay, that's what it says in the book here in this deck. Okay, this is the Meaning Tarot deck. I got this from Timu. Okay, Timu, however the fuck you say it, I don't know. All right, Waste, Disorganization, Chaos, Giving Up, Impatience, No Reward, and Imprudence. Okay, let me get one more card to clarify. Seven of Swords in the Reversal, Uncovering of plots and conspiracies or something being re returned to you that was taken from you okay so we have a lot going on here in the future it does look like there is some healing here but something about the past that someone has not let go of okay or has not moved on from fully and i feel like that might be what the healing is for some of you maybe that's what you're healing from okay and you get some kind of you get something from this okay you get some kind of new freedom. Hopefully. Hopefully that's what it is. Okay. Let's give Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of this situation for you, Scorpio. Big Bubba Mac, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio today, please. I don't know if that was just me, but almost that whole reading felt like I was trying to read a different language. <laughs> Jesus. Clarify this situation for Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Bubba, listen. Okay, so I'm gonna pull three cards from the from the back. We have pictures. Someone could be looking at pictures of you that they have with you, or you might be looking at pictures of someone, or something about pictures is significant here. Feathers. You could be seeing feathers if you're watching this reading. Gray, white, or black. Okay. We have plant or plants. It might be someone that owns plants or you work at a plant or something about plant or plants is significant here. What else? We have anger. <clears throat> someone could be angry towards you or you are angry towards someone or something about anger is significant here. Someone is angry about pictures with you. I don't know. What else? Moon cycle. You could be trying to manifest. I think there was a new moon like last night or something. Was it tonight or last night? I don't know. Something about moon cycle is significant here. You could be using the moon cycle to manifest, okay? Or maybe you should if you're not. Something about moon cycle. What else? We have present. Something about the present is significant right here. Also, especially for you, Scorpio. Okay, you could be learning something or getting something new. Some of you might be getting a present right now. Somebody could have got you a present or something. Something about present is significant here. What else? We have cancer. Some of you might be dealing with a cancer or you might have cancer somewhere in your chart or something about a cancer is significant here. Okay. Some of you could be angry at a cancer or a cancer might be angry at you right now. <laughs> uh, future. Some of you could be planning for the future or something about your future is significant here. You could be manifesting something in the future. Okay. With the moon cycle. What else? 
computer, some of you might be watching this through a computer or you have a computer or something about your computer is significant here. You might be getting a new one or maybe you work on a computer or maybe you have pictures uploaded on a computer of plants. <laughs> Anger and computer, what else? Some of you might be angry at your computer. I don't know. Plant or plants again. Okay. So I don't know why I have two plant or plants card in here, but they both came out for you. So someone out here watching this has plants or you work at a plant or something. Okay. Or maybe you're getting new plants right now in the present. Okay. Maybe you're angry because you have so many plants. Cell phone. Oh my God. Some of you could be watching this through a cell phone or you have a cell phone. Something about your cell phone is significant here, okay? Um, maybe you're trying to manifest a new cell phone or something like that, or something about cell phone is significant here, okay? Let me get two more. Virgo, some of you might be dealing with a Virgo, or you got Virgo somewhere in your chart, or something about Virgo is significant here, okay? Hey, okay, let me get one more. One, two, three, four, all right, hammer. About to be a what? <laughs> Something about a hammer. You could be someone that works with your hands or you work with tools or you're dealing with someone that does. Okay. Um, some kind of information might come in that you're unex like unexpected. Okay. You might be. That's kind of like this seven of swords reverse card as well. Okay. Uncovering of plots and conspiracies. You might find something out about someone or something in your energy that you were not expecting. Okay. All right. Let's get a message from the ancestors oracle, oracle card to see what your ancestors have to say about this. Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio today, please. Show me that Scorpio energy, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio. Mm -mm 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 I don't know why I got that song in my head now. Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio today, please. Show me that Scorpio energy. Let me get one more four. One, two, three. Try that again. One, two, three, four. There we go. Lover and love. Okay. Lover and love. Something about lover and love. Let's read it. Oh, my nose. Lover and love. All right, this is what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card. <clears throat> They're saying, Through all the unhealed wounds you've suffered during your time on earth, you've constructed blockages to feeling and expressing love, letting yourself receive love and loving yourself. Those hurts stung, those hurts stung you and left you wary of being intimate with others and you put up your guard easily, not just to lovers, but to friends and family as well. It's time now to take some risks with expressing your love through word and deed, trusting that you have the resilience to recover even if you experience disappointment. Just as important as loving yourself, putting aside self-criticism and taking care of yourself, starting with your body, Breathe deeply and you will naturally feel a greater awareness of your body and the sensations in your body. These sensations, whether you call them good or bad, are signs that your body is processing whatever it needs to process. You're simply experiencing the movement of life as it expresses in and through your physical being. Trust that process by tuning in to your body daily through song, movement, music, self-massage, sex, emotional clearing, and or the caring touch of another person. Love your body. Express your sensuality in as many ways as possible. Allow your physical experience to be an important part of your daily life. Allow yourself to be intimate with the natural world by being immersed in it regularly, from taking care of the garden to hiking along trails to camping in the wilderness. Take risks in sharing your love with others every day. Should you falter and fall back into familiar patterns of obstruction, call on this ancestor to help you out. Okay? So time to be there for yourself, Scorpio. Okay. 
All right, guys, I hope this message resonated with someone out here today. If it did, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? I do Scorpio readings every single Saturday. Usually it is like, I don't know, 2 a.m. on Sunday right now. So like a little early, a little into Sunday already, but at the same time, usually I do Scorpio readings every single Saturday. So make sure to come back next Saturday from a reading for from myself, okay? Make sure to check out New Age Lifestyle Shop at the bottom of the description box below. And anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well. Just in case it was a Scorpio, thank you for whoever checked out my Amazon wish list and bought this book by Dolores Cannon for me. It was someone in South Carolina, okay, from West Columbia, South Carolina. So thank you so much. I'm going to post it in all of my readings this week because I don't know who did it, but I'm going to see if I can figure it out, all right? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first.